Hi and welcome to our video series in which we are looking at the new features of Grasshopper within the new and shipping version of Rhino 6. You will see a list of the features we are going to explore here. And in this short video, we are going to look at slope. Um, to access this command, we either you have to type slope, it's going to be the one on the bottom, or you can go to transform and from morph slope. So for slope like we have a few inputs, one output is the geometry. Um, basically we will be trying to um, deform um, geometry or surface onto another surface and take the shape of it uh, into another geometry. Um, so what I'm going to do first is um, to draw the geometries that I want to use and then explain about the inputs, how we're going to use them both together. Um, I will draw like any sort of um, geometry like this one let's say just to have like some sort of curved surface um, we're going to start putting the input so we have geometry plane so the geometry that we want to deform and the surface that we want to use um, we want basically to, to deform uh, the geometry onto um, a plane um, of the source plane of the deformations can be XY which is the default or it can be um, zy. Y, we can just set that the way we want. Um, so, um, and the parameter, so it says UV parameter on, on surface used for orientation. We will show you later how to do that. The angle and a toggle called rigid. Uh, we'll also explain that in a minute. So um, the geometry basically that we need um, to deform, um, we can, for example, have a surface a polygon. going to create um, a surface out of that and I'm uh, going to just write like geometry, set one geometry here, I don't think I need this anymore and this will go um, to the geometry that we want to deform basically. Uh, the surface we just take this one, applying it to a new geometry and then plug in it here can also hide this one and have that. So what I want is to deform this shape onto that surface and you know the way it's curved. Um, I'm just going to say here it is already XY so plain XY we do that we can have um, Z, um, YZ plane or x z plane doesn't matter uh, what what you think is uh, more convenient uh, for the parameter we will use um, um, we will be um, um, we'll be using md slider so like that and we'll have that here connect it to the parameter an angle um, we can set uh, 360 number slider so we can change as much as we want uh, it's what's like we have to change this into degrees depends uh, if you prefer going with degrees or not um, and a toggle for the rigid input um, so um, now when we look at we can see that this geometry is now uh, deformed into the surface of um, this geometry. Um, so if I am to bake this one like that, I can see to some extent what is going on like that. I um, can try now, if we delete this one, try apply some changes, say in the angle. Um, for the surface, that we are projecting into and for us to be able to use um, this uh, slider properly we have to reparameterize um, the surface otherwise this is going to be stuck on whatever um, this dimension is refers to like uh, so we just have to go here 
and we say requirement wise now this goes on all the surface from the beginning to the end like that um, you can see also changing the angle to what basically suit uh, suit you um, you can then just bake the surface projected into the shape like that you're having the same deformed um, finally um, the rigid toggle so it says the geometry will not be deformed um, as it is transfer tr transformed so basically if we um, change the toggle into true um, that means that the geometry will be projected um, they're either like transformed basically on the surface wherever you're going to place it but it's not going to be deformed into the shape of the surface like this so it's going to stay the way it is but it will be transformed like that uh, I hope that this was helpful and thank you for, for listening. <laughs>